Now, from our original system, we're going to keep our two septic tanks, right? Correct. We'll keep the original two 800-gallon septic tanks in the series and install a new pump chamber that'll pump the effluent up to the new drainage cells. So how do we get started with the whole thing? Uh, we're going to come in and dig, uh, excavate the, for the new hole for the new pump tank. Uh, that pump tank, again, is about five by seven. And you guys make that big concrete tank yourself, right? We do make that concrete tank. Yeah. Uh, the depth of that tank, that, that will be about seven and a half feet deep. And from there, from the top of the cover, we'll bring manhole risers above grade, uh, bring it up to code so we can be able to set the pump and such in that pump tank. Now the key to the whole system is we have to pump the effluent from the lift station up to our drain field. Now to do that, you need a really strong, long-lasting pump. Now this thing is made out of cast iron, powder coated, so it won't rust for a long time. Actually, the company, you bet, the company's been around a long time, made in Kentucky, so uh, it should be a reliable one. It has a factory tested half horsepower motor driving a Vortex impeller at 1725 RPM. And there's also an inch and a half discharge with a two inch adapter. Now in a perfect world, the effluent flows up the system and then percolates out in little holes in the pipes up in the drain field. But if any solids get up there, it can plug those up. So what, there's a couple ways of filtering. First of all, the pump and this sit inside this basket right here. The effluent flows in here, gets to the pump, and then the pump can pump everything out and it does through this system right here. Now this has a little filter that will pull out any particles larger than a sixteenth of an inch and then it has this special cleaning action that kind of acts like a tornado to wash all those little particles off once they get stuck to the side. And the nice thing here is 41 percent of the area on the filter is open. That allows 83.8 gallons per minute at one pound per square inch to flow through. Now you have to clean this about once a year but it really prevents a lot of costly fixes up in the drain field. Now this is where the control for the pumps are located. Now it's fairly straightforward. We have power running from the house. Here we have circuit breaker. This is where the pump plugs in. What's great about this is it does have an alarm up here, light and sound if you get a high water warning and nice and watertight, so it should last a long time. The next step is we'll dig the force main out of that new pump tank, run that force main up, with the insulated pipe under your across your driveway up into new drainage cells, uh, three separate cells that will be installed that will handle the effluent as it's dispersed. So we're far enough up north that uh, the frost goes down 42 inches on the ground so you either have to put your effluent pipes down that far so they don't freeze or you have to insulate them. That's what we're doing is we're using insulated pipe. This is regular two inch PVC pipe and that's surrounded by rigid foam. It gives an R value of 21. We don't have to dig this nearly as deep into the ground which makes it really nice. And these connect one right onto the next, so it's very easy to put them together. Where these work great is under like driveways or roads like this, where the compression of the soil makes the frost go down even deeper. And the nice thing is this rigid foam, you don't have to worry about it being compressed. Uh, what happens is once that pump shuts off during its dose, during its cycle, that effluent now drains back into the pump tank. So there's never water standing in that force main. So by the time uh, you're sending anything up to the drain field, it's just strictly like a gray liquid. I mean, not to gross anybody out, but that's basically what it's, we're doing. It's basically, a quite, actually, it's pretty clear. It's a clear, basically clear effluent that is being pumped up into there and dispersed to, uh, into the new cells. Somebody was saying we could actually drink it. That's what I've been told, but I have yet to try it. But anybody's more than welcome to try it well, after no, it's... Nobody's volunteering. Let's put it <laughs> I can't blame them for that. But, uh, it, it, again, it's a very clear effluent, uh, very little odor to it at all. So once we get all this stuff in, we should be in pretty good shape. You'll be in great shape. Uh, this system should last, you know, they'll say 25 to 30 years for a system. 